Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julie and I'm here to do my reaction video for a fourth film on this movie week that we're doing here on Patreon. If you don't know what it is, you might want to join Patreon and, you know, get these wonderful perks as, you know, movie weeks, binges, um, and lots of shows that don't get uh, uh, edited for YouTube. Because I do not have the time <laughs> to edit them. I wish I could, honestly. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so this time the title of the film is But I Am a Cheerleader. Uh, this reel is from 1999. I'm, 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 I mean, sometimes you find it as 2000, as a 2000 film. But I think it's from 1999, if I'm not wrong. This film comes as sponsored by Gracie here on Patreon. Thank you so much, my friend, for sponsoring this film. Apparently, it's a queer classic that I have not had the chance to watch or know about it. <laughs> I don't think I owned a DVD or a VCR or VHS or whatever uh, device to watch this uh, back when I was... Uh, back when it was released, but yeah, and also it's in, 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 there is no platform here in Peru that is streaming this one, so it's kind of difficult to find, it was very difficult for me to find this film, but I did it, I found it, and I am ready to watch it and to enjoy it and to, you know, have fun while doing this one. Um, uh, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on Patreon, make sure to give it a heart. Continue supporting for more. Thank you for joining if this is the first time you join. Or if it, you are a long time subscriber of my channel and of my Patreon. Thank you so much. Uh, and I hope you guys are enjoying our movie week. I hope you guys enjoy it. hope you guys like it. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. And for now, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's just begin with our fourth film for this movie week title, But I Am a Cheerleader. Here we go. <laughs> RuPaul? Make sure that you have your uniforms picked up from the dr Wait! That's Michelle Williams! That's Jen! Or Jennifer from... <laughs> but she was not on the credits! What the hell? Dry cleaners? Yeah, right. Right. Wait, who's Aren't the lesbian? Excited? It's playoffs! Oh. Oh! Well, that's a gift there! <laughs> oh, I have had that. That has happened to me. Yes. The roles in life you set for us. Okay. All that is natural and <laughs> healthy and sacred. What the fuck? And you <laughs> What's up? Okay. When they do that, I think it's fun. Maybe he just doesn't do it right. No, he doesn't do it right. He's kid. That, that's not a good kid. You know, it's making you more sure that she's a lesbian, probably. Why does she have so many pictures of girls there? Contrast to her with the uh, men. That still doesn't mean shit, by the way. There's a need to conversion. Mike, <laughs> thanks so much for coming all the way back out here again. Well, that's what we're here for. And RuPaul <laughs> is... And RuPaul is... Like, the director of a straight, like, a conversion camp? Is this is that what's happening? Thank you, Mike. It's a surprise. What happened? Is somebody dead? 
They're your favorite. Now, why don't you just come on in and sit down, honey? Hmm. Honey, we think you're a... <laughs> 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 huh? I myself was once a gay. Oh, now a gay. Now I'm ex-gay, Megan. You sure you are? I I You've been trying to make us eat this tofu. <laughs> this <laughs> diet, watch for a switch to vegetarianism. <laughs> You don't have any pictures of guys in your locker, just these. Even vaginal motifs in artwork and decoration. <laughs> in iconography. I feel it's Andrew. <laughs> you don't even like to kiss me. I true. mean... Like rehab, honey. Uh, Homosexuals Anonymous. <laughs> it's only for a few. Homosexuals Anonymous. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, because I feel like this is a, t it's a satire, right? To make you realize how stupid you sound when you say shit like this, right? That's how I'm taking it. There is no way I'm going. <laughs> there was a way. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to watch this. Kelly had hopes of being a model one day. Okay. That is until she was recruited into the homosexual <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> she made me do things with other women. <laughs> but Kelly sought help. After just two months in True Direction's easy five-step program, Kelly rediscovered her femininity and embraced her true Again, self. has nothing to do with femininity or not. On March 16th, 1996, Kelly was married. Admitting you're homosexual. Concentrate on the first step. You admitting your problem. That when you see a woman in a tight skirt, in her long, beautiful legs. So you're a gay too. Perhaps she's in the bath. You don't have any unnatural thoughts. I don't think it's unnatural. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> you see? You don't even think it's wrong, soldiers. Hillary! You're gonna pair her up with another potential Megan. lesbian. Oh. This is Hillary. Hi! She will show you around. Melanie. Oh, they're going to scissor by the end of the day. Okay. Rise and shine at 7. Breakfast at 8. Group therapy until lunch. Oh. This oh. is where we sleep. But there's no inappropriate behavior allowed. Inappropriate? Like swearing? No, inappropriate like fucking. Oh, okay. Oh. Step one was easy. Admitting you're a homosexual. See, we all passed. Yesterday. Oh. I'm a homosexual. <laughs> See how easy it is. I'm Graham, and I like girls a lot. <laughs> I'm a homosexual. <laughs> Andre, actor, dancer. Homosexual. Me. <laughs> oh, homosexual. Have you ever had a boyfriend? Yes. For two years, we've been going steady. I really love him. He's smart and popular. He's got the biggest dick I've never seen. Have you ever had sex with him? That is still... It's really yeah. easy to be a prude when you're not attracted to him, isn't it? No, but really, she is. She is. There is a point of where she is imagining other women when she's kissing him. And that's the only clue because having having pictures of like singers that you like and like being a vegetarian <laughs> doesn't mean you are a lesbian. Handsome. Didn't everybody have those thoughts? Yeah, that's the thing. No. I'm a homosexual. <laughs> I'm a homosexual. I'm a homosexual. Congratulations, <laughs> Megan. I gotta go with it and do the steps too. I am a homosexual. <laughs> Congratulations on your first step, Pom Pom. Are these two gonna fall in love? She's just upset because the fish on her plate is the only kind she can eat. I can't wait to be straight. I've always wanted to be. It's cool to finally talk about it, you know? I think she's just waiting for this to be over so she can leave. And be a fool homosexual. I know. No more sipping. 
Chug it like a man. Come on, chug. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> there. Chug Rediscovering your gender and identity. Four. Backwards. And forwards. And backwards. Oh! In a very clean desk. Girls, is everybody paying attention? And you go in and out. In and out. And in and out. Get into every little crevice. And add a little more oil and shove it in. Take it out. Put some muscle into it. Shove it in and out. <laughs> Shove it in. Take it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop it. Just <laughs> <laughs> See that? <laughs> Who's left to report out their route? Miss <laughs> 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 Jeff, <laughs> pretty gay if you ask me. <laughs> but for Megan to be reminded of your route, Grim. My mother got married in pants. That's the root of her lesbianism. Right, let's see, a uh, doll. Old girl boarding school. Oh yeah, that was good. I was born in France. <coughs> Clayton. My mom let me play in her pumps. I like balls. <coughs> Why, thank you for that, Joe. <laughs> Joe. Now, what was the first gay thought I had? This is a rediscovering myself as well. Ooh. Hmm. I. Hmm. I never wanted to be the pink Power Ranger. <laughs> Though it was there, I did not want it to be that. I wanted to be the red one or or the white one, I guess. Or the blue one. Didn't want to be the the the, the pink or the yellow. I think that's those are my first gender non-confirming ideas i guess and then it must be that time i kissed a, a friend might be that <laughs> oh my god had a husband who was a girl in high school as well but it, there was nothing gay happening but it was a term of endearment apparently that my friend had towards me and that i had towards her or something like that. i don't know it was pretty gay if I think about it now but anyways and then the L word but yeah I guess the Power Ranger thing is the first thing I think you're making them more gay it's a woman and what else I don't know a mother women have roles after you learn that you'll stop objectifying them yeah and he's not Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see how sad and pathetic you all are? Always wanting something you can't have. If I catch you looking at another man like that ever again, you'll be watching sports the whole weekend. Oh no. Family therapy, lovely. Realize. Hey, but, but we're paying a lot of money here to get these kids fixed, not sit around and listen to stories all day. Graham. I hope you're getting a little more out of this program than that faggot over there. Oh my god! I don't find that appropriate. When you get back from Switzerland, you better have this gay thing out of your system. Got it? I got it. But that's the thing, you know, sometimes you just are. Like, I am just making a joke by the, the whole Power Ranger things. Like, you know, that, that's the early, that, you know. But I think I always knew, you know, so... <laughs> you don't really you have that eureka moment of like oh i'm a homo <laughs> you know <laughs> or bi wherever but <laughs> it is so like like the, the fact that they are trying to look for a specific point you know 
and then there was that one year where... Well, Dad was unemployed and Mom had to support us. Wait a minute. That was only for nine months. And then I was offered a much better job at the plant. Well, maybe seeing Mom kind of being the dad, maybe I wrong idea about the roles of men and women? Absolutely. You know, right. I can't believe that you didn't mention this earlier. <laughs> Another way out. Explore your life. F live free, love free, meet up front, midnight. This uh oh, the gays are coming to save us. What is that? I'm stuck on five, six, seven, eight. God is good. God is straight. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Cheers are supposed to be simple, make people feel good. Cheers make girls do stupid cartwheels, orgasms, make people feel good. No, that's true. This is bullshit, Megan. It doesn't work. You are who you are. The only trick is not getting caught. It's sad that she thinks like that. How'd you end up here? She got caught, I guess. I got caught. Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh. Well, hello. <laughs> that's that's the only thing, you know. If you're gay, you're gay. Wait, who are they? Oh my god. Please don't tell. Oh my god. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, you stupid what? little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They were kissing. She's full of shit. Like we were just. Uh, my, just we please were don't just, call my mom. Just, Dolph, listen, we I were am just... really disappointed in you. I thought you had what it took to get out of here clean. If that little <laughs> twink would have knocked on me, heads would have rolled. What, would you tire to your bed and zap it to death? Or are you running low on batteries? <laughs> I love that she's defending her. Demystifying the opposite sex. Mm. Hi, Miss Thing. Hello. Now, when it's time for lovemaking, Dan kisses Sue and touches her breasts. Women often in the back of this two are gonna come out gayer than when they came in. <laughs> no! <laughs> What's going on? It's almost lights out. We're sneaking out. Get dressed. Go marry. Fuck marry. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's about fucking time. I can't believe I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Hi! I'm Lloyd Morgan Gordon. This is Larry Morgan Gordon. Glad to have you with us. Larry and Lloyd are ex ex gays. From True Directions? We were among Mary's ranks before we defected. We're just trying to provide you all with a balanced perspective. So you run like the underground homo railroad? <laughs> <laughs> Cocksucker. Love it. Oh, hi, hello. You didn't tell me you were taking me to a gay bar. Well, where else would we go? Yeah, where else do you think that we're gonna go? I like her, by the way. Oh, hi. hi. I know her. Would you like to dance? Sure, she does. Oh, sorry, I can't. I know her, right? Where do I know her from? Okay. One second, go ahead. Sorry, I just don't dance much. I think they want to. Oh. You got jelly. Megan, it's not what you think. It wasn't. And I wasn't doing that. Doesn't matter. 
I love the fact this is like so gay because like you are not even in a relationship yet you're having fights as you are in a relationship. It happens so so often. Why are you freaking out? It's none of my business. Do what you want. Screw you! Ah, there we go. Told you. <laughs> These two are gonna get gayer by the minute. I'm not supposed to like you. Suppose. But. I don't wanna do that again. Of course you do. And there we go. See how nice it's been to be kissed by someone who knows how to kiss? And also, that is another lady like you. Uh oh. Did you like Graham? Damn. They're married by now. We gotta move in together. Oh, what the fuck? I'm a heterosexual. Uh, not yet, honey. You're almost there. And don't speak out of turn. No, I know. I've never been gay. I <laughs> mean, just take a look at yourself. I mean, everybody thinks I'm this big dyke because cause I wear baggy pants, I play softball, and I'm not as pretty as other girls, but it doesn't make me gay. I just want a big fat wiener up my... Amen, oh! Sister. <laughs> Stop it! Quit. I have a crush on Joel. It was the first time. She's faking it. That's all they want, you know? You have to know that you would be on your own. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you can't come home. We can't allow you to live an unhealthy lifestyle under our roof. My God. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Adam and Eve, Adam and Steve. <laughs> I, love, I love the way he's jumping. Adam and Eve, Don't you want to be... Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> You're really manly. Thanks. I like that. Manly is good. I feel like the aggressor. <laughs> the final test. You will all be graded in each category. Uh oh. <laughs> my root and how it prevented me from heterosexual loving how did how the power rangers had anything to do with me being gay my root Sunshine. now <laughs> in order to successfully navigate and i am passing all but one of you Andre, hmm? you may pack your bags. Are you surprised? I just wasn't meant to be put. Oh, honey. I was sissy. The last thing I need right now is some fruit who just proved he's straight <laughs> telling my ass how sexy I am. <laughs> Congratulations, liars. Oh. No, barely. <laughs> I can hardly see though. They're so going for round two. Go lesbians! Get out of bed, you hormonal hussy! I can't believe you did this. You were supposed to be the role model. Now get up right now. What did she do? What did I do? <sighs> a little sleepover with Graham. 
Ugh. will be removed from the program and the premises at once. I understand. Thing that you can do where we could work out some kind of a deal. I'll let you stay and graduate with the rest of your class, but you okay. must do one favor in return. What is Partner that? in simulation with Rock. Rock? What? I don't think that will work. Put a stamp. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake! <laughs> Her own We've son. Lost Megan. She just wasn't strong enough, but you still have a chance to save yourself. It's your choice. You can run off with Megan and turn into a raging bull dyke, or you can do the simulation and graduate and lead a normal life. Oh, damn. Then it's settled. Graham will partner with Rock in simulation. Oh, Megan, shit. You're out. Skedaddle. You both are being forced to do this. Oh, honey. Thought you could teach me how to be a lesbian. What? What they wear, where they live, <laughs> you know. Uh, Megan, we can't help you with that. There's not just one way to be a lesbian. Yeah? You just... Oh, hi! Oh. Megan! Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving me from that place. What are you doing here? I live here. Or, or at least until I find a way to make it on my own. Oh. She was supposed to leave with me, and she didn't. Whoa, well, slow down. Who? Graham. I knew it! She was in you from the start. <laughs> Why didn't she come with me? Well, maybe she was scared. Yeah, maybe she was. Come not. This is wrong. Well, not that everything was right to begin with. Now lean in and kiss her. Nice, Rob. He wants to be with you the way God intended. You. <laughs> be inside you. Love muscle thrusting. Okay, that's just disgusting. Okay, like, what a flower. That sex is fun. We're making love. There's nothing dirty about it. Sex is beautiful when it's between a man and a woman. Mom. Okay. Okay, this is just wrong. What about foreplay? No, foreplay is for sissies. Shut Real up! Men, go in, unload, and pull out. Graduation. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Doesn't it feel great to be straight? To be out of homosexuality? It's not always going to be easy. But at least we know what to do now. Repress your feelings. Hey, okay, girls. Hope she's worth it. She's Clayton. I'm doing this for you, not for Clayton. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so no one is seeing them. <laughs> I know they're wearing camouflage, but come on. May I present our happy heterosexual. <laughs> oh! Jesus! Me. Why are you here? I came to get you. <laughs> I can't go anywhere, Megan. Oh, damn. Look, she's scared. We all come out of our own time, you know? Oh! <laughs> and praise be to our higher power. Who's gonna do a cheer? Will I... Graham Eaton. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Go get your girl! <laughs> Graham. One, two, three, four. I won't take no anymore. 
five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I want you to be my mate. One, two, three, four. You're the one that I oh. Don't run from me, cause this is fake. Oh my god! That is so cute and pure and amazing. Oh god, Crown. I love you. You stop it this instant. You will wallow in the smoke of your homosexual depravity. <laughs> Oh. No, come on, let's go. Oh. oh my God. Wait. Oh. Happy ending. <laughs> we love, we love, we love. Parents and friends of lesbians and gays. Okay. My name is Peter and my daughter is a homosexual. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> the, the mom. But I'm glad that they're trying to accept her, you know? Okay, guys, so that was the end of But I Am a Cheerleader, our fourth film reaction. I'm not gonna be able to keep it up. I, I think I can. Uh, but it is our fourth film reaction for our movie week here on Patreon. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I love this film. I really, truly did. Uh, I loved it um, for, like, truly for what it, it, it stands for. Through something that is very traumatizing for a lot of gay people who have gone through conversion therapy you see it here and it's kind of play in this silly way right but as a gay person right uh, i mean i haven't been into conversion camp but god knows i have been in the closet for a long a, a, a lot of time uh a long time i mean um and um honestly it's not the same as in going through you know, that type of, of, of treatment, you know, that honestly, the whole point is to make you hate yourself, who make you hate who you are. Like, first step, it was accepting that you were a homosexual, right? First step to begin with, I, I don't remember every single step, but the first one was to, you know, understand and accept that you're a homosexual, Right? And that is, like, if you are a homosexual, you know that that's something before you can really uh, start to come out and all of that, uh, you really have to come out to yourself to really understand yourself to fully know who you are before you can begin to even talk about it, you know? And it's a process, that everyone I think goes goes through. Some people take it's a lot easier to accept themselves, uh, and some people it's for some others is very very difficult and takes a lot of time. Um, and sometimes it never comes. It never just you know you you repress it because of society and how how or, or because you're scared because your family situation whatever is the case. You know, you sometimes don't even reach to that point of accepting yourself. So, to force these kids to accept themselves as homosexuals, right? As gay people. Um, it is very traumatic in my, you know, in, in my mind. Because, like I said, it's, it is a very private thing, I think, that we all go through. All, all, uh, all of it. It's wrong, you know? The mere, like, the sole existence of this conversion therapy camp, it's wrong. But I think that the meaning behind the, the, the film is that no matter what you go through, no matter if you do all this and all the steps and all the things and you find the root of why you became gay, you know, and all of that, at the end of the day, you are who you are, you love who you love, and that is it. You know, um, and the thing here is that I, 
that's what I felt it. I felt throughout the entire film. I didn't felt the film was trying to impose any ideas of like, oh, you are not supposed to be, or this is bad. You know, it was a satire, you know, rooted in the fact that there's a bunch of people who might have also gone through conversion therapy that have made them a little bit more gay than they were originally, you know? Um, but also that they have been traumatized. You have to understand the reason why, you know, Graham, who seemed like tough and everything, they broke her. You know, she was so scared that she was going to be all by herself, alone, with no one to love her, and, and just, you know, like that, that she just couldn't bear the thought. She went through the entire thing because she was afraid. The one that looked the, mo the most tough or the one that you could say, oh, she's going to flip everyone and just going to walk away. Now, she still looked for her dad's approval, you know? Um, and that has to tell you something. Um, I, I, you know, I feel like that places like, like those should not exist. I mean, we're in 2024. Hopefully those uh, places don't exist anymore. I mean, I'm going to guess that they might be masked as something else and, you know, um, spiritual things and whatever. But basically they are the same. Um, but it's very traumatizing. I must, I, I, I can't, I, I can only imagine. I have grown up in a household and in a country where religion and, and being gay and, 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 you know, uh, it's a sin. It's something that you go to hell to, you know, and try to put that image into like that you're going to burn in hell, that you're going to be, uh, in hell for the rest of eternity when you are only, I don't know, four, five, six, the concept of hell and like sinners and like, uh, the fact that homosexuals and gay people are, are sinners is something that is engraving you from a very early age, you know, here in my country. I might not have gone through, through, uh, conversion therapy, but I for sure have felt the burden of it when even before I realized who I was, you know? So the film explores that, you know, explores it. And, 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 um, yeah, they go with the romantic route as well with, um, you know, um, with Graham and, um, what's her name? Natasha's character was, was, was Sam? Did I just completely <laughs> blocked it out? Megan. Sam? Anyways. <laughs> uh, uh, Megan, right? Uh, it, they go into, the, into that with them, you know, finding themselves. And I'm telling you, uh, 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 places like this are horrifying. And, and as this might be funny and you think, oh, well, maybe I'll try. Maybe my kid might come out straight and like, or maybe, you know, it will be fine. No, it is actually very traumatizing. You know, it is very traumatizing. It is telling you to hate yourself, to hate who you are and who you love and the way you feel that is a sin, that is awful, that you are awful, you know, and that you should you know, uh, inflict pain, aversion therapy, you know, inflict pain into something that used to, you know, that it was pleasurable for you. And we're also talking about teenagers here as well, you know? So it is just terrible that things like that happened and that maybe continue to happen. Um, but you know, I, I, it's so, so I honestly, I don't know where I have been that I have never watched this film, to be honest. Uh, it's a disgrace <laughs> that I have never watched it, but it was so, it was so enlightening, you know? And I think that it's so valid in today's world as well, because, um, 
I think all parents should watch it, you know, any parent that is thinking, oh, maybe I should get my son to recover. You don't recover from who you are. Like, it's just so dumb, you know? Um, and, and, and for instance, the, the, the whole thing, I mean, um, Megan could have gone through her entire life, uh, really not like thinking that, that, you know, this is just the way women feel and that, you know, maybe you're not that excited about, you know, kissing your boyfriend because they're terrible at it. Also, she could easily be bisexual. It's just that the guy is terrible at kissing, you know, was terrible at kissing. We know she's a lesbian, but you know, it was a guy's problem, not her, you know, but apparently her being a cheerleader, which is one of the most, one of the most feminine things that you can do, um, you know, but since she had posters of, of women in her, in her wall or in her locker, you know, the fact that, uh, she looked at, at women differently, I guess. That was another reason. Uh, you know, they thought all of... Oh, the fact that she was vegetarian and didn't want to eat meat. <laughs> they all were, like, clear signs of lesbianism. Um, honestly, liking the color pink doesn't make you a, 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 a straight woman, a gay woman, a gay man. Or straight men. It's a fucking color. Okay? That yes, we as society has a so have a sign uh pink to women and blue to to men or girls and boys, whatever, you know. But they're fucking colors. You can be a straight man and like pink. It has nothing to do like fashion, uh the way you dress and like there was even a character, you know, one of the girls uh, there was a little bit more. She did not like wearing dresses and things like that. She was, you know, she looked a little bit more, more, uh, butch, right? And the haircut and all of that. Um, and apparently she was molested. And so in instantly, and because of the way she was dressing and she was expressing herself, they were like, she a dyke. No, she wasn't. She was actually straight. You know, and like this entire time, they wanted her because they, her parents, whoever sent her there, had the thought, you know, that since she's dressing that way, she must like pussy, you know? And it, <laughs> it wasn't like that. She runs away, you know, crying because she might not be feminine, because she might not like that, but she still is into men. And it's just, it, it's baffling that... Sometimes, you know, this little uh, um, actions or stereotypes that we have about gay people can become like a universal rule. And, and it's, yes, some stereotypes are true. Did she look like a lesbian? Yes, but she's not. And that's what's important. She was just, she likes her hair like that. She likes to dress that way. That did not mean that she was gay. You know, and even if she was or wasn't, uh, wasn't this was beside beside the point. You know what I mean? So either way, it was it was you know enlightening to have one of the characters that look more like the the gay one to actually be straight. You know, it was very much a call to like to realize that stereotypes and all of that are, yeah, can be fun funny, you know, when you, you put it in, in a comedy or something like that. But at the end of the day, you are who you are and you like who you like. And you know, not because you're more feminine in means that you, uh, there are a lot of feminine, very extremely feminine girls and they are still extremely gay, you know? So that has nothing to do with anything. And that's what the, the, the film is trying to uh, portray at the end of the day with all the, you know, diverse uh, gays here. You know, there is just not one way to be a lesbian or to be gay. You know, some, some are a little bit more like, for instance, 
the son, you know, uh, Mary's son, Rock. He was gay as fuck. The mom is like, the, she teaches people how to be straight. Her own son? Gay as fuck. You know? Um, and he did not behave like, uh, what was the name of the other boy? The one that was dancing all the time and was terrible at, 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 uh, at sports. You know, they could be like the more opposite. It's still, both of them gay, you know? And I am so glad that I I wish that we could have seen him also at the at the house, you know, um, and like the fact that he could not find his root because one of the other things, all the other steps, was to find the root, the root of when they became a, a, a lesbian, a gay, a homosexual, right? And I jokingly say like the Power Rangers and things like that because sometimes. For some people, maybe there is a moment where they realize, oh, yeah, uh, that might have been gay, <laughs> you know? But that comes rather in like in retrospective, right? Thinking back. But it's not like a like a true defining moment, you know? Uh, the fact that the, the kid could not find his root was the reason because... He was born like that. There was no, not a root. Not th there was nothing that made him gay. It was who he was. It it's the same for all. It's just that all the others were just playing along, making up stories just to, you know, uh, leave Mary happy with. Oh, they're making. They are actually making progress. You know. So, yeah. Um, being in a b all girls boarding school might have done the trick as well. I have done the trick with me. I was in, I was in, in a boarding school, but I was in an all girls school. That was not a really good decision on my mom's part. <laughs> if she did not want me gay, she did not. <laughs> yeah, she did not make, that was not a really good judgment call. I don't know. She thought, oh, this will make her straight. It did it did not. It did not. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, so. Um, at the end of the day, I, I love, also, I love RuPaul. My God. RuPaul. He's, he's RuPaul Charles, apparently. Before he was RuPaul, you know. Uh, and he's playing straight character. He's the most gay. The gayest straight character. <laughs> You will ever meet. He's supposed to be like a, a ma macho man, right? With the very short shorts. Uh, and he was an ex-gay, right? Uh, because you can't get out of that life. And that only, like, the only reason why some people become ex-gay is either, it's either because they are, they were never gay to begin with, you know? Uh, they were maybe, you know, they liked, uh, uh, more feminine things for, for boys, you know, they like maybe more feminine things, but that did not mean, meant that they were gay, right? That's one of your ex-gays, uh, uh, things. And then, uh, the other is just how much, uh, oppression and, and how much, uh, homophobia you face, then you think, you know what, it's better to pretend that I'm straight just to get them off my back and just to, you know, not really uh, uh, um, suffer the consequences, you know? Um, so, yeah. But he, he wasn't... He, he wasn't straight at all. He was looking at, at Rock <laughs> the way he was looking at him. My God. Uh, also, how old... How, like, the old... Like, the age difference. I don't know how old Rock was. Actually, but it was hilarious. Honestly, it was hilarious. The boys were hilarious as well. You know, the fact that like the, the fact that they had to do manly things like chopping wood, like so <laughs> So if you don't do that, what? You're not a man man enough? It's, it's stupid. They they put the most cliche things in shooting and 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 
you know, sports, because apparently gays can be good at sports, you know? Well, some of us aren't, but some of us are in some, you know? I mean, I am not good in any. I'm not really a good example for this. But it's a cliche, yes, it's based in, in reality a little bit, you know, but it's not always like that. Trust me. <laughs> but anyways, um... Yeah, but I love, I honestly, I love, the, and I love the fact that we had an ex-ex gays that had also a house, but that it was more of a safe house for, uh, you know, for kids, for queer kids uh, going in, you know, that ha were, were having trouble because, you know, we know that at one point um, Megan's parents threatened her to kick her out if she did not complete the program. Right, and she thought she was gonna get kicked out. By the end, we see that the parents are actually trying to understand her. I mean, the mom seemed extremely embarrassed uh, as well because she was being blamed of em emasculating her husband, and that's the reason why her daughter turned gay. I bet that that's something that is gonna stick with her for a long time. But uh, the dad was trying, you know, and that gave me hope that maybe, you know, Megan is not you know, just living on the streets or just, you know, away from her family, a family that she seems to love, you know? So, yeah, and that she probably is with, uh, uh, married at this point, honestly, <laughs> uh, with, with Graham, right? Because, let's be real, lesbians move, it's very, like, do you notice that they were fighting before they were even together? They were having a whole huge ass fight before they even kissed. And it happens. You know, it happens. It happens. It happens. It ha happened to me. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so, thing is that uh, it has a happy ending for some of our queer uh, uh, gays. Queer gays. Queer kids. Um... But hopefully, you know, the others also find their way out of it, you know. Um, because living with parents uh, or, you know, whatever family member they are, they have that put them there, honestly, that don't love them, you know, and, and don't love them for who they are. You know, they will only love them if they are, you know, uh, straight. Which, in what passage of the Bible of the Bible that people love to quote, in what passage did it says, love love thy neighbor, right? Or something like, I don't know how to say it in English, okay? But doesn't it say that? It doesn't say only love them if they are straight. Just saying, bunch of hypocrites, you know, but anyways. Oh man, I love the film. I, I think it was hilarious. It played on the cliches. It was a very nice satire. You know, and really something that it's it's sadly still relevant, you know, for, for people to understand that people that are not, you know, gender conforming. I mean, I mean, why is the straight the default? Yeah, uh, Adam and Eve. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, that's written in a book that was not even written by Jesus, okay? So, anyway, so the, it says that... Um, but yeah, the, the, the only reason why, uh, uh, gay people are not the default, uh, maybe is because there are more straight people than, than well, the numbers are, are shifting, by the way. More and more people are coming out, feeling a lot more comfortable in their skin, so, watch out. The gay, the gay agenda, you don't know what plan, uh, you know, chapter two is, by the way. World domination. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's what it says. Um, but the thing is that... Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, well, it's the default, right? It's being straight is the default, which is why being gay is, you know, sometimes it's still... Or being queer in general is still not understood or not very well viewed. Uh, and now, you know, it's, it's with more technology and with more, 
you know, resources, you know, we have even more ways to identify, uh, you know, uh, which is great, you know, uh, at one time in my life, I had none. When I found the four ones, you know, it was LGBT, I found myself not really liking any of the labels, actually, uh, until one point where I was like, who am I kidding? I'm bisexual, you know. Um, but yeah, now there are more and is more fitting for people, you know, to be specific with who they are, who they love, who uh, they want to be. And yeah. But I feel that the this film is still very relevant uh, till today. So loved it. Gracie, thank you so much for enlightening me with a classic uh, in gay culture, um, lesbian culture. I did love, like, uh, Megan and Graham. I think they were lovely. Like, the fact that they, you meet the love of your life, or, yeah, the love of her life, let's just say that, um, at conversion camp, it's fate. It really is fate. Because otherwise, Megan, I don't think she will have ever explored that. Why? Because she's very religious and she would have thought that that was a sin, you know? Also, she thought it was normal for her to feel the way she was feeling, to not really feel anything when the guy was kissing her. Also, because the guy was a terrible kisser, by the way. And also, you know, she thought every girl looked at other women the same way. Well, not all of us look at women like that. Some of us look at women differently respectfully but differently um but yeah she had no 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 clue she you know it was the stereotypes that were put on her that make her realize that she was actually a lesbian you know um because if not i don't think she will have tried to uh uh find out who she was and she will have never met graham and will have never actually explore uh, a relationship with a woman. And they were extremely cute and extremely, you know, sweet. And, like, I love the fact that she's like, I'm gonna rescue my girl, you know? And she goes in and then she's, like, freaked out. She doesn't follow her. And then she puts on the cheer because, like, that's the analogy that she made, how she made her feel, which was, like, when she cheered, that's when she felt more like herself. She was joyful and all of that and that's how she felt when she was with Graham you know uh so she did her routine and it was a very cute thing it was so cute and just Graham just couldn't take it anymore and she had to run away I wish she could have picked up the pom-poms to give it back to her because she drops them um but she did not uh but it was it was beautiful. It was beautiful. A beautiful love story among all these, you know, LGBT issues. Um, so, yeah. I loved it. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I had so much fun. Uh, so, thank you, everyone, uh, that voted for the film. And thank you especially to Gracie for sponsoring this film. Uh, I had a lot of fun. So, thank you so much for sponsoring. Cannot believe that I have not watch this one ever and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope everybody else enjoyed it as well so thank you so much guys you guys are incredible uh, please 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 don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe comment hit the notification bell on color reaction is always posted first on patreon in case you guys want to check that out like i said the link's on the description down below um if you're on patreon hearts give it a heart uh comment your favorite part of the movie uh when you watch the movie, what's your root? <laughs> I'm joking. You know, but yeah. Also having Michelle Williams here, our dear Jen Lintley from Dawson's Creek was really cute. Uh, uh, I, we, I did not saw her, I did not see her in the beginning on the, you know, the names, you know, the uh, cast. Uh, and I, when I saw her, I was like, what? where was her name? Well, she did not have a big uh, um, role here. She was just a friend at the beginning and that's it. You know, so that's the reason. But I will have loved if she will have, you know, play gay too. 
and we'll have loved that. Um, Melanie, oh my god, the reason why we love her, right? Is that the reason why she's such a gay icon? Because she is. And I love her. I love her. You know. I love she was playing gay and I love the, you know, the, the winks and the things. <laughs> She's adorable, you know, and the casting. Man, the casting from Yellow Jackets because now she's, she, you know, time passes, you know. Um, and there is a, 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 another actress who plays her as her younger self. Honestly, the casting, so fucking good. So fucking good. Anyways, I miss that show, by the way. But yeah. Anyways, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. Thumbs up. Hearts. Subscribe. All those good things. Thank you, Gracie, once again. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos. Uh, actually, for uh, day three with two more films, drama films, um, tomorrow. So, yes, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah! Bye.